While we enjoyed the craziness that the 175-watt RTX 40 series graphics have to offer, as well as the laptops that employed their needs, it's time we check out some, let's say, more mainstream models like the new Vector GP77 from MSI. It brings the Raptor Lake H-series processors and goes as high as the 140-watt RTX 4070. The laptop is still bulky, as the 17.3-inch form factor results in a weight of 2.80 kilograms and a profile of 25.9 millimeters. We see quite a lot of metal involved, as the lid and the base are made of the material. Only the bottom panel and the bits around the hinges and vents are made from plastic. Overall, the construction is very rigid. The design itself is pretty good. The hinges and heat vents give the laptop an aggressive appearance, but the muted color scheme keeps it classy. On the base, there's a full-sized Steel Series keyboard with a per-key RGB backlight and large keycaps, including the arrow keys. Typing and gaming on it feel great, thanks to the long key travel and clicky feedback. The touchpad is a bit smaller than what the competition offers, however it's still very fast and plenty accurate. The port selection includes two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports on the right, as well as an HDMI 2.1 port for up to 4K 120Hz signal, a power plug, one mini display port, and a LAN port on the back. Lastly, there's one more Type-A port, a Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, and an audio jack on the left. The Quad HD IPS display pairs incredibly well with both the RTX 4060 and the RTX 4070. The 240 Hz refresh rate makes gaming and just moving around the device incredibly smooth, while the high resolution delivers images that are crispy and very detailed. The peak brightness of 325 nits is all right, however. What truly puts the display above the rest is the 100% sRGB and the 99% DCI-P3 coverage, the latter of which is the digital cinema standard. When we apply our design and gaming profile, we also get incredibly accurate colors, with a delta E value of 0.8. The human eye can't distinguish values lower than 1, so this is as good as it gets. We'll link our display profiles in the description below. The speakers on the Vector GP77 deliver good sound with a very high max volume. However, there are deviations across the entire frequency range. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Unsurprisingly, the device delivers very good performance, thanks to its Core i713-700H and 140-watt RTX 4070. It scores higher than last year's Vector GP66 with a Core i712-700H, while also being more powerful than the Strixscar 15G533 with a Core i912-900H. The 4070 graphics is pretty much even with the 150-watt versions of the RTX 3070Ty and the RTX 3080. In games, the GPU is able to deliver high frame rates at the maximum settings in any title you throw at it. Forza Horizon 5 runs at 104 FPS on the Extreme preset, so you can really feel the speed of the car you're handling and have a high-octane racing experience. If you enjoy stealthy exploration and hiding in plain sight, Assassin's Creed Odyssey runs at 93 FPS on the ultra-high preset. Looking for trouble, are you? Lastly, Elden Ring looks as good as it gets, giving us 96 FPS in the maximum preset.
punished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? If you want to check out more gameplay videos of the Vector's RTX 4060 or 4070, our Laptop Media Benchmarks channel will be right up your alley, as we've got most of the popular GPUs covered. The cooling setup with five heat pipes and two fans takes good care of the core i7-13700H, resulting in high clock speeds and high TDPs. In short bursts, the chip reaches 135 watts, while settling at 90 watts for prolonged tasks like video rendering or gaming. On the side of the 4070, we see that it doesn't even come close to the 140 watt power limit, instead going only as high as 95 watts, while running at 61 degrees Celsius flat and with a clock speed of 2,295 megahertz. All of this makes the laptop both well-performing and quiet. Thanks to the MSI Center app, you can fine-tune the cooling based on your needs, having RPM control for the fans, as well as a muck switch toggle. Moving to the battery life, we're puzzled as to why MSI is offering only a 65-watt-hour unit in a land where we have 90-watt-hours and even more. The current configuration lasts for 6 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, or 7 hours and 9 minutes of video playback. Considering the battery capacity, these are decent results for a gaming machine. The upgradability of the laptop is very good, with two SODIMM slots for up to 64GB of DDR5 memory, while both M.2 PCIe slots support Gen 4 SSDs. The RAM slots are protected by metal brackets, while the single NVMe SSD that's inside is covered with two cooling pads. For an in-depth look at the insides of the Vector GP77, check out our teardown video. While not having the groundbreaking performance or RGB-infused craziness of the Raider or even the Titan laptops from MSI, the Vector GP77 is still a phenomenal product that shouldn't be overlooked. On the other hand, the price tag might make you consider going with a device from last year which is also a viable option, looking at how the pricing of 40 series laptops is going. What do you think of the Vector GP77, and do you feel it's the device for you? Tell us in the comments and share what laptops you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to check out our detailed review on our website, laptopmedia.com.